Welcome back everyone. In this lesson we are going to be creating our first Godot project and just having an overview of the editor, looking at all the different things and just getting an understanding of how this engine works. Uh, so first of all, we are here in our Godot project manager. This can be uh, launched by double clicking on the EXE application which we downloaded in the previous lesson. And here in the project manager, we have a list of all of our uh, existing projects. I already have some here because I've created some projects in the past, but if this is your first time launching a dough, this will most likely be empty. Uh, there's also this templates tab, which allows us to download some existing templates uh, off the Godot website, which could be interesting if you want to learn how to do a certain thing in the engine. But for us right now, we're going to go back to the projects tab and we want to click on the new project button right here. This will launch up this little window right here. And what we want to do is, first of all, give our project a name. So I'm just gonna give this one, uh, let's just say this first Gido project. And as you can see here, it also says, please choose an empty folder. Uh, by default, this will set the project path to be the uh, folder where you have the EXE installed. So what we can do is just click on create folder It'll create a new folder here uh, in my documents, for example, because that is where this application is. And we can then click create and edit. And here we are inside of the Godot engine. Uh, it may be a bit confusing because there's lots of buttons, lots of options, lots of different windows, but we'll get an understanding of how they all work very shortly. So first of all, you can see in the middle here, we have this 3D view of our world. And what we need to do is switch it back over to 2D since that is what we're going to be working with. So up here at the top, you'll see 2D, 3D, script, and asset library. Let's just click on 2D, and it will switch us over to a 2D mode where we can see it on a flat plane. Um, so let's begin with the concept of scenes and nodes in Godot. Godot is a game engine that is built upon using nodes, a node-based system. And what a node is, is pretty much anything that has any sort of function in your game is a node. For example, the player, uh, the enemies, the coins, the tiles. Uh, it could even be a light, a interactable object. Um, anything that you can see, you can interact with, or anything that you want to have a function, such as holding a script, which can then execute a piece of code. That is a node. And Godot uses these nodes to structure a scene. And a scene is basically a collection of nodes, and each node can also have children nodes. So uh, if we have a player, for example, we're going to have a main player node. That player as is going to have multiple children nodes. One of them will be a sprite, so it can have some sort of visual image. It is also going to have a collider node, so it has the ability to collide with other objects. Now, when we have these player nodes, these enemy nodes, uh, well, these are all going to be added into our final main scene, which is going to be what gets launched when we play the game. And in our main scene, everything is going to be a child of the main scene node. So let's actually go ahead and create that now. Over here in the scene panel right here, this is going to be the list of all the nodes in our current scene. So it says create root node. I'm just going to click on the 2D scene button right here. And as you can see, it has created a new node. Right now it's called Node2D. Uh, this doesn't really explain what it is, so let's just double click on it. And I'm going to rename this here to our main scene, because this is going to be our main scene right here. Uh, straight away, in the middle panel here, nothing really happened. But over on the right-hand side, in the inspector panel, you can see that uh, there's all of a sudden some sort of information. And what the inspector is, is basically a list of all the properties of the selected node. So here we have the transform. If we click on that, we can change and view the position, the rotation, and the scale of the node. Uh, on canvas item, we have visibility, so we can toggle if it's visible or not, and some various other options as well. If this is a light node, then we can change the intensity, the color of the light, uh, and various different things depending on that node. If it's a UI node, we can change what text that uh, UI is gonna display, what image it's displaying, uh, if it's a collider node, we can change the type of collider, the size of it, etc. So we have our main scene right here. Now, what we need to do first of all is save this main scene. Because right now, you can see here it is unsaved. So I'm just going to go Control S and it is going to ask us to save the scene as. We're going to save it as main scene.tscn. So we can just hit enter. And down here in the file system panel, you can see that we have this new main scene object added. 
and the file system here is just going to be um, a view of our file structure, our folder structure, uh, where our project is stored. So we can see stuff such as our assets. This includes um, our scenes, our sprites, our textures, our um, scripts, our audio clips, pretty much anything that is an asset for the game is going to be stored here in the file system. Okay, we'll be going over this a bit more once we start importing some assets. Uh, in the center here, we have our main scene window, and this is where we can uh, pretty much interact with the game, where we can select stuff, where we can view what the game is going to look like. We can also switch between 2D mode and 3D mode up here, which uh, since we're just working on a 2D game, we're just going to stay on the 2D mode right here. We also have a script button, which switches us over to the scripting side of Godot. And in here is where we are going to be modifying our scripts. We're going to be creating a script for the player, for the enemy, for the coins. And this is where we're going to be programming that individual functionality for each of those things. So back in 2D mode here, we can move around by holding down middle mouse or right mouse. But yeah, this is basically the screen size where we're going to be adding elements in uh, so we can have the rough approximation of how large those things will look on our screen. So we have our main scene here added and saved as a asset here in the file system. Now, since this is an asset in the file system, what we can do is create a new instance of the scene if we wish, but we're not going to be doing that for our main scene. For our player though, we're going to have uh, a separate scene for our player, a separate scene for our enemy, and a separate scene for our coins. And this is going to allow us to individually modify the aspects of each of those uh, and then create an instance of that inside of our main scene. Because since we're going to have multiple en enemies, for example, you might in your project, you don't want to have to go over to every single enemy node every single time you want to make a change. Instead, we can just make one change to the main enemy scene and that change will apply to all instances of that enemy uh, across the main scene. If you have ever used the Unity engine, think of that as prefabs. Okay, so we got a basic understanding of how scenes and uh, nodes work. We'll of course get a much deeper understanding as we continue with this project and actually get into creating those. But for now, let's go over some of the other aspects of the engine here. Uh, over here in the top left, or top right I mean, is all the different buttons to actually play our game, to test it out. So right here we have the play button, and this will launch the game um, and allow us to play it. We have the pause button so we can pause the game, and the stop button so we can stop playing the game. Over here we have the play scene, so this will just launch the game into the scene we're currently on. Uh, and this right here allows us to play a custom scene so we can select a scene to launch. And that's about it for going over the basic overview of the editor. In the next lesson, we're going to begin setting up our project. We'll be learning more about uh, nodes, about scenes, and we'll be importing some assets to use uh, for this project. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.